back with new video guys this is poco x slash nfc custom rovis the sampat sam youtube channel evolution x 9.0 with 5th may 2024 and android version is 14 here this is anti v penguin you guys can see build build date is june 9th latest this is security patch i already explained you and kernel user is 4.14.340 open la kernel has been used here which is kind of good here we'll be seeing each and everything here starting with dialer you get a basic google dialer and direct video call feature is also there and this is the volume panel you can customize them and call recording is there but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call and browser is also pre-installed here you guys can see and internet status i have 200 mbps plan and it is pulling up to 240 that's fine in my opinion again and camera basic application i always tell you if you want anything advanced thing in the camera you can always use the gcam port my personal favorite is arnaville gcam and audio effects this is also pre-installed here it will make some difference while listening to music on any other audio video files and wallpaper sound style again lock screen customizations are still there and home screen is there it's an android 14 very soon we can expect android 15 rom also and this is anti -Vip penguin build i really like this build from the beginning if you know you can check out previous videos of this build then only really come and conclude anything about this build and we'll see some results here calorie application is also given here other apart from that everything i have installed fm radio is given let's see gallery itself and yeah that's it you get any options here this so the version has been updated now the android version is 10.2.7 and this is the score i got 3 lakh 97,147. temperature raise was 2.7 degrees celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped and this is geekbench 6.3.0 score 750 single score and multi score is 1854 android version 14 links 4.14.340 open la kernel and here cts profile match and basic integrity both getting passed and device is also certified hence using payment applications any payment applications will going to work fine no problem here and this is the hsdat and support and level one certification again watching ott application in this particular rom is also safer and internet connected i already explained these are the read rate speed test with graph and numericals and around 12 17 pm it was 41 percent it's pulling up to 10.8 watts charging rapidly support is there around 12 20 you can see 46 percent charging rapidly 21 watts full in two hours 12 37 again 69 percent charging rapidly 14.4 what's it depends upon temperature and the way it charges it completely depends on several factors it will not going to completely charge in 33 watts only in any rom again i'm telling it specifically here that's how it actually and in the game like bgma you will get this option here please and will storage access permission how to resolve that i have made dedicated two videos in my channel check out in the description if i can provide or else you can directly search this option uh, enable storage permission sampath samfx in youtube you'll get two different videos either of them will definitely help you solving the problem here and in the settings again I'll close this yeah in the settings again you get all the necessary options in the last week or before week i already made a dedicated video on that you can check out there you get all these options here in the miscellaneous again you will get high fps games here and again status bar quick settings everything remains very similar to what i said previous video you can check out very similar to that and wallpapers and display again everything is fine I haven't faced any issues regarding this particular rom you guys can see again navigation mode gesture navigation you get both the option to increase length and radius of this google pin and swipe to three finger screenshot everything is fine guys i haven't faced any issues as you can see these are the recent apps haptic feedback strength is fine dual stereo speakers are fine these are the quick settings toggles again everything is working fine let me enable the fs information here again screen is refreshing around that point we'll do one thing into the display again minimum keep it 45 low power 90 
peak 120 it will change as now as you can see tap to wake tap to sleep is fine working here if you have any specific questions regarding this particular room comment down in the comment section guys let's see bgm how it handles in this particular room set the graphics to small plus extreme plus here and this one yeah regarding this room i have no complaints guys maybe some of the versions may get something buggy but as of now it's really good stable I, my personal favorite is this only for poco xc and there are some alternatives also or uh, dark fest os and what i can say this one pixel os and project infinity other roms also check out my channel there are plenty of videos available alternative roms hyper os based roms plenty are available for poco x it's all up to your preference and your uh, area of interest based on that you can yeah there was a little bit of lag in the counter attacks with two to three people around me that's how it is again even if it is a 90 fps gameplay or 60 fps gameplay you should not forget the device hardware it's not going to compete with higher level devices that you need to understand again and that's the gaming experience and everything regarding this particular rom guys i haven't faced any issues regarding this particular rom if you have any let me know in the comment section and what exactly you're looking for in a custom rom let me know in the comment section and if you're already using this builds share your experience and again guys this is Sampath signing off filmed with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now